In this video I'm going to show you how to do an adjustment refund. Um, this means that you can either give the customer more money back um, for the products they've ordered or you can take money off them or give them less of a refund back. I'm going to go to sales orders and I'm going to find my latest complete order at the top here. Okay, and I'm going to go to credit memo. Okay, so there's my grid of items that I can refund. What I'm going to do is I want to refund one of these video games and the rest of them I don't want to refund. And I'm going to return that item to stock as well. I'll click update quantities and then look down here at the bottom. You can see that the subtotal is £16.67, tax is £3.33 which gives you a total of £25 to refund. That also includes the shipping, sorry, as well. What I can do is I can give them an adjustment refund. So if I don't want to refund the shipping, but I'll refund them perhaps part of the shipping, I can put, or actually it wouldn't be part of the shipping if I'm just giving them some extra money back. I can go in here and say I'll give them £2.50. So 1667 plus the 333 VAT is £20 plus the £2.50 adjustment refund. So I'll give them an extra £2.50 back on that order, but I'm not refunding the shipping. That means my total refund for this item, for this product that I'm sending back to stock, will be £22.50. So I can click refund offline. That's done that. So if I go over to credit memos. You can see I've got a refund over here for £22.50 and I click into it and it will give you the breakdown of what I've refunded. So I've refunded that one video game which costs £20 plus a £2.50 adjustment refund so I'm giving the customer £22.50 back for their order. Okay, on the other side of that you might want to give them less of a refund back for some reason, perhaps if the item was damaged or opened or something. If I go back to my order overview screen and then click credit memo again, this time I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to um, refund the remaining item in that order for that game. So I'm going to set these all to zero and I'm going to return it to stock and I'll click, click update quantities and as you can see at the moment I'm refunding £25 so I'm refunding them the shipping and I'm refunding them the £20 cost of the item but I might want to put an adjustment fee on there so for the time that it's taken me to do this refund and because perhaps the item was damaged I'm going to take £10 off your refund which will then leave it at £15 for the refund so that's £20 for the items £5 for the shipping, minus £10 for the adjustment that I'm making. And if I click refund offline, go back over to credit memos, you can see that my second credit memo in there is for £15. There's the item that I've refunded, which costs £20. There's a breakdown of the monies refunded, including the tax. And there's the £10 adjustment fee which has been deducted from the overall refund, giving you a grand total of £15. So that's how you can create partial adjustment refunds in Magento, whereby you add or deduct money from the total refunded.